Kyle with Thermal Corporation and today we're going to talk about some tips to extend the life of your cartridge heater. A little bit of this we've already covered in the how to insert a cartridge heater into a mold video but some of this is going to be new um, so it should be beneficial I hope. Alright, the first and foremost thing is you want to avoid contamination of your heater. So you don't want to get any water, moisture, oil, plastic, anything on the leads or down in the end of the heater. That's really bad. If you do happen to get moisture on your heater or on the lead, you can actually bake these in an oven for at 200 degrees for an hour or so and it should drive that moisture out. But definitely try to avoid getting plastic or oil or any organic chemical or solvent on or around the leads or um, the end of the heater. Alright, that's the most common failure mode we see. The second thing is you want to avoid over temperature. So you want this thing to fit snugly in your mold or your bore. Um, ideally, you just have a couple thousandths around the heater as your gap. Um, if this thing is loose in the hole, then that's not good. The heater's going to get really hot and it's going to burn out really fast. So make sure it's a good fit. You don't want the leads to be down in the mold or in your um, heated space. You want them sticking out in the air uh, where they can reject heat quickly. Um, and so if you need to add a cold section to the end of your heater, do that to get your leads out, out from the mold. <clears throat> um, conversely, you don't want a heated section of your heater to be sticking out in the air because then it's going to start glowing red hot at that point and it's going to fail there. So you want the heated section of your heater to be totally inside your mold or your bore and you want your leads outside. And any cold sections you need to add to get there, then that's what you need to do. Um, finally, you don't need to overcycle this heater. Ideally, it will start and run 75-80% of the time. If this thing is getting really hot and then turning off for long periods of time and cooling down and then turning on and getting really hot and having wild swings in temperature, that's not good. Um, it's going to oxidize the resistance wire inside and it's going to fail prematurely. So that is about it. Um, if you have any questions, give us a call, uh, shoot us an email. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And check us out at all of our social media sites. Thanks.